this video is about the basic of complex integration so what is complex integration so when i was taught complex integration i simply understood one thing from that one hour lecture that complex integration is same as real integration we are just using the variable z in place of x yes this is the really simple and dummy definition for complex integration but it is a little different from what i said it's not just change of variable of z from x it is not because x is one variable and z is a variable of x and y that is x plus i by so for understanding what is complex integration we will first understand what are real line integrals so real line integrals are similar like integral if you have studied real integration it's very easy for you for example if there is a curve here and for example there is a function p of x y which is continuous at all points on the curve this curve c also there is a function q of x and y which is also continuous at all points in this curve c then the real line integral which is known as p dx plus q d y this is known as the real line integral of this function along this curve c is defined as integration along c this curve p of x y dx plus q of x y dy and this just bracket or we can write this we are just integrating with one variable so no need of writing that these are made up of two different variables so c p dx plus q d y so this is known as the real line integral and for real line integration we don't need the curve to be smooth it can be piecewise smooth and piecewise smooth means that for example if you have a curve like this for example this one this is a contour named brown which contour so this is piece white smooth smooth and here it's not smooth but we will take it piece white smooth we go from here to here integrate then integrate this and then integrate this so we will study about this later but just saying what are real line integrals so if you understood this this is simple integration of one function which is continuous on a curve with respect to x axis and then integration of another function which is of x and y both function are of x and y but we are differentiated we are integrating one with respect to x and other with respect to y so this is all about this now you can understand what are complex integration the one we get is the area under the curve with respect to those two functions for example we can also get this area if these are those two functions so now we will understand what is complex integration in similar way so integration along a curve fz dz is equal to integration along the curve now you know that fz is a function of u plus i v right so we will write u plus i v in here now what we will do is convert dz into x plus i y but not x plus i y dx plus d i y simple dx plus i d y because this is complex one now we will just separate and arrange the things to get this which is integration along c let's use a bright one uh, which is which will become u dx minus v dy you will see from here this minus came this is iota multiplied by iota minus one so plus iota times integration along c v dx plus u dy so this is the complex integration and this is the definite integral we are 
defining limits to our integration for indefinite integration in complex analysis it is the reverse of differentiation of complex numbers similar as real analysis for example if there is like z square and its differentiation is 2z then integration of this is z square it's indefinite integrals so now you understand what is complex integration and also when you integrate this what you will get is the area under that curve in which you are integrating the stuff so this was some basic complex integration video so that you get uh, knowledge what is complex integration now in further videos we will study about different curves of, on which you will integrate stuff and then we will see the most important theorem in complex analysis which is which have changed the century like that theorem helped us to solve integrals we will never thought we will ever able to solve and that theorem is the Cauchy theorem and then its formula integral formula and then we will further move to integration also in exams uh, there are simple integral questions which come like this one and we will solve questions on complex analysis after i cover all the theory of complex analysis after that i will solve my own question paper which i got in the university so thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything